Okay, I'll be teaching you the multiplying by 125s trick. And this is found on page 9 of your workbook. What you need to do here is you need to recognize that 125 is very similar to 1.125. And you may not know this already, but 0.125 is 1 8th. So multiplying by 125 is very similar to multiplying by 1 8th. So you're going to take the non-125 number and you're going to multiply it by 1 8th. Now remember as before, when you're multiplying by fractions, you're basically multiplying by the numerator and dividing by the denominator. So 64 divided by 8 is 8 times 1 is 8. So you write the 8. Now at first glance, you might want to add two zeros, but in this case you're going to add three zeros because when I called 125.125, I had to move the decimal three times. So I add three zeros or move the decimal three times. 8,000. There's your answer. Second problem, 12.5% times 88. In your mind, you need to think that 12.5% is the same as 100, 0.125, excuse me. So 12.5% is the same as 0.125. So you're going to take the non-125 uh, non number, divide it by 8, you get 11. Now the question in here is, do I, how many zeros do I add? You might want to say 2, you might want to say 3, but the answer is actually none. Because 12.5% is 0.125. They're exactly equal. So when I'm divided by 8, I need to add nothing, which would make this answer 11. Now what would happen instead of multiplying by 125, I multiply by, say, 375, 625, or 875. Now let's first do 125 times 24. 125 times 24 means to divide this number by 8, and you get 3. And you do add 3 zeros in this case, 3,000. Now to multiply by three, 375, you need to recognize that 125 was 1 8th, 375 is 3 eighths, which means you still divide by 8, but at the end, you have to multiply by 3. So 24 divided by 8 is still 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. So this is 9,000. For 625, as you can see in the pattern, this is 5 eighths. So as before, divide this by 8, you get 3. 3 times 5 is 15, and you add 3 zeros. And the last one, 875, is 7 eighths. So divide this by 8, you get 3. 3 times 7 is 21. 0, 0, 0. And there you have it. You can also multiply by 375, 625, and 875 using the same trick. Good luck with it.